start off with our thread right at the eye of the hook I'm going to work my way back to just above the hook point okay, now for the ribbing on this because it's a dry fly slash merger I'm just going to use some crystal flash and then for the body I'm going to use this UV chewy skin and this is an orange color I want to strip about yay wide and I'm just going to tie that in right at the back and then bring my thread up over and kind of cover up the point where I tie it in <clears throat> and then work my way right on up to just before the eye of the hook and then we just take this and and we're going to wrap that keeping more tension on the back and then I can release tension as I move forward creating the segmentation up until the eye clip that off and then kind of clean that up and then I'm going to take my crystal flash and simply follow the ribbing of the segmentation there created by the UV chewy skin pretty simple okay so now we've got the body what we're going to make now is the legs. So I'm going to use some brown, or you can use orange if you have it, or some other color. But uh, I'm going to use brown partridge. Okay, I got the partridge here. I'm simply going to trim off some of these fuzzy pieces cut it into a V shape like that and then I'm going to simply lay that on top pull pinch around and then I'm going to take kind of a loose wrap and then a tougher wrap and that will start to turn that and it will actually pull those fibers around and depending on how its length I want them about the length of the body so you can very gently loosen that and pull that to length. So then in the end these are going to be on the bottom side of the body here because these are going to be the legs. Hey, okay, now for the antenna I'm going to use some peccary quill and this is dyed a burnt orange and so just grab a couple of fibers of this stuff and we'll tie these in for the antenna and you probably want these about the length of the body maybe a little more and tie those in there okay, and the last thing here we're just going to tie in our wing and so this is the uh, wing and I just cut this to shape here And I like to build up a head that's bright because again we're dealing with an orange colored bug here. And then just whip finish. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to do is trim this wing. I want it to be about one and a third times the body length maybe one and a half hold that down and these are kind of a tent shape cut it at an angle like so 
and there we go.